Hey everyone, anyone who has been watching my videos knows that I have two Ender 3 printers now, a very early model and a newer model. Both have been flashed to the TH3D Studios Unifying, Unified Firmware, and the early Ender 3 has had a boatload of problems since then. I'm not blaming the firmware, I just think it's a combination of wonky hardware that something, some part of that firmware just doesn't like. But I'm going to cut away here and you can see what it's doing and I will be right back. Okay, so now that you saw that, let me explain it a little bit. If it really needs it, which it probably doesn't. After updating, to the, updating the firmware, if I start a print, when I turn the printer on, as you can see now, and I, I have just flashed it again, as you can see now, it works absolutely fine. I can change the screens around. I can do whatever I want. But within a few minutes of starting a print, chances are good it's going to start going crazy. I start getting the clicking noises as if I was actually changing the screens myself using the control on it. And if I don't do something to try and get control of it, it'll go completely nuts on me. It'll... There'll be all kinds of screen corruption, Chinese characters, you name it. It'll go completely bonkers. It does not affect the print, by the way. The print will continue on normally. And I can even just pull the plug on the LCD if it's annoying me. And the print still works fine. The second problem I'm having, as you saw, is thermal runaway. And, I, and that does stop the print. It stops right there as soon as it gets that, as it's supposed to. So... And I have done the auto-tune built into the firmware according to TH3D Studio's instructions. And I have done it several times at several different temperatures and it doesn't make a bit of difference. I've also done the manual tune using what is the, the program called Pronterface, I think, that lets you control the printer through, the, through a window on your PC. And that hasn't made any difference either. It's still shutting off on me. And it's, I'm getting thermal runaway errors at 230 degrees, which is silly. And that makes the printer all but unusable to me. <clears throat> so I've decided to flash it back to the stock firmware and see if that's secure. And no, I don't blame the firmware for this. This is wonky hardware in my opinion. And my newer Ender 3 works fine with the, the TH3D Studios firmware. I'm not having any issues with that printer at all. It's just this early model Ender 3, and the early models had some issues, and apparently this is one of them. I think I may have a fix for it, but for right now, I want to flash back to stock and see if what that does for me. So there are three ways to get the stock firmware that I'm aware of now. One is through the supposed Creality firmware that Naomi Wu updated, and that comes in the form of a hex file. There is also a firmware released by a website, and I forget the name of it off the top of my head. Let me see if I still have it here open. If not, I can find it easily enough. That was called the Mech Store or the Emex, the Mech E Store, I think it was called. And he claims to have the firmware as well. Let me see if I have it here in my recently closed tabs. I had it open here and then I closed it and I forgot to reopen it. I can find it. There it was in the list there when I typed it in. Up oh, there it is down there. So, here it is here, Mech Solutions LTD. And when you download this, you get a hex file as well. The third way to get it is to go to GitHub and go to Marlin, and somebody has reverse engineered it. And there are three files, configuration.h, uh, bootscreenh, and satiscreenh, and you can download the full version of Marlin and replace the three files in it by that name with these three files. And then you can load it into Arduino or Arduino IDE and burn it as normal like you would. And that's the first thing I'm gonna we're gonna try. As you can see, I have gone back to the standard current version U1R19A version, and I have burned that because we need some inf a little bit of information, and we're gonna need that for later. And I'm gonna show it to you here. I have my Arduino sketch open. Here it is. So 
we burn it like normal. You go into configuration H. You un uncomment Ender 3. And I think I passed it here. Where did it go? Here it is, Ender 3. So you take the two slashes out of in front of, of pound sign define Ender 3. And you click the upload button and it burns it. So here's the inform and it, when it's done, this is down here like that. So what we need, and I'm going to drag this screen up, what we need is a little bit of information from here. And this took me half the day yesterday to figure out. Thanks to a guy named Pert over on the Arduino forums, he posted this, and thanks to him. There may be another way to do it, but if there was, I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, so we need this line here. We need this AVR dude, AVR DUD command. And it goes out of ways. So copy that whole thing and paste it into a notepad and save it because we're going to need it. But for right now, let's try that reverse engineering first. We've already got the Arduino IDE software open. So let's pop over to that. I have it over here. I've already tried it. Let's try it again. I'm going to say upload it. And I've already replaced the three files with the three from, from and you can see the error I'm getting. But I'm going to flip the printer off, unplug it. I've never tried to do this with one powered on, and I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to try it now. So I'm going to plug it in. It's going into a USB 2 port. And we're going to go up. We're going to look at tools. We're on port COM6, and that's what it is. We have it set to Sanguino 1284p, and we are going to upload this. And you will see I will get that same error message. I spent a couple hours yesterday trying to determine why I'm getting this unknown value set here. I've gone down into where it, and I'm no Arduino expert. I am a computer tech guy. It's what I do for a living, but I've only dabbled in Arduino. So I have come down here and I have tried uncommenting the Sanguino and derivatives where it says AT Mega 1284P. I've tried a number of other things. I cannot get past this message. If any of you Ardu Arduino wizards are watching this and you know what this problem is, let me know because I'd like to give this a try. So anyway, that didn't work for me. The next thing I want to show you is, and let's get out of that. The next thing I want to show you is the, the file Naomi Wu gave that she says is the original Creality one. So we're going to go back to that little notepad thing that you saved, that I had you save from the first one, where I said that AVR dude command is important. And what we want to do with this, you pasted that command. You want to take the AVR dude.exe and the AVR dude.conf files, and you want to put them someplace easy to get, because you don't want to have to make some bloody long command, and you don't want them in program files. This does not like spaces in that for some reason. So I put them in my D downloads folder along with the hex file I got. And we're going to take those 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 um, directory entries where they're located and we're going to change them with the new one. So D colon slash download slash hex forward slash AVR dude.conf. We're going to leave all that other command alone. And then we're going to come down here and put the location of the hex file in, leaving that colon I on the end. We only want to change these directory locations to what they are. Everything else should stay the same. And then we're going to copy that. We're going to come to a elevated command prompt, and we're going to paste that in. And we're going to hit Enter. And this is what we get. This is the stock supposed Creality Ender 3 firmware as released by Creality and uploaded by. And you'll see that a problem I'm having. I get an error message. And you will see it right. Let me find the error message again. And you can see it. Here we go here. Error. No valid record found in Intel hex file. And then it lists that hex file that I downloaded from GitHub that is supposedly Creality's genuine one. And I have tried a number of things to fix this as well. 
and this is a compiled hex file so there really isn't a heck of a lot that I'm going to be able to do with it maybe somebody else can decompile it and fix it but I can't so there's a problem it did not upload so now we're going to go get the one that I got from this website here let me pop right back to it oops this website here mechstore.com and he has a download where it says download now that'll get you his hex file so let's give his hex file a shot I'm going to close this one and I've already done all this so I already know that this is all how this happens so we're going to get his hex file and that is this one and we're going to copy that and we're going to come back to our command prompt and we are going to now put this one in and let me take a quick look at it that is the correct one and let's hit enter and now we're writing it it is burning it to the board and it'll take it another half a minute or so and I'll flip this thing back on and we'll see what we get as I said I've already done all this and I already know how it turns out and I've already got some other ideas of why this hardware does not like the regular Marlin firmware as provided by and updated by PH3D Studios but we want to I want to try this first I would just want to know if this printer will work correctly with what we think might be the stock firmware but we don't really know for sure since we've got three versions of it and only one works and I'm going to show that one to you momentarily okay it's done burning and it flashed it successfully so we're going to go back to our screen I'm going to unplug it I am going to put the power back to it and let's flip it on and let's see what we get and I'm going to make that window a little bit bigger and if I can figure out how to do it here without turning the whole thing off uh, right here this is kind of new to me so bear with me and there we go and let's flip it on and see what we get and you didn't get to see it in time but the splash screen just said 3d printer it didn't say anything else and one of the first things I notice about this and you probably can't see it from what you're looking at one of the first things I notice about this is this screen is way lower resolution than the resolution of the TH3D firmware version the regular Marlin version the zeros on the Marlin version have three dots across the top and five down the side on this one and they're the exact same size zero on this one they're two across the top and three down the side so this is a lot lower resolution screen let's kind of look around in it and this looks very and of course it's got that beep to it again I don't know if you can hear it but it's got that same beep and this is as best as I can remember this is the and that's what's on the it's what's on the card this is the stock ender 3 printer despite the fact that the that the um, splash screens and that main screen here where it would normally say ender 3 it now just says 3d but I have printed made three different prints with this and it works the screens not going bonkers on me on, on the other one I could wiggle the I could wiggle the LCD cable around and I could cause some screen corruption doesn't do it in this one it's rock solid I printed something in nylon at 255 degrees and I got no thermal runaway issues probably because thermal runaway is disabled in this but there you have it that's taken me back to what seems to me to be a very stock version of this firmware and it functions and it functions correctly and I've printed three prints with it and I've had no issues so I'm going to do some things with this printer in the future I've got a couple of new ribbon cables coming because I think the ribbon cable has something to do with the screen corruption what's causing the thermal runaway I don't know I'm very tempted to take all the electronics on this computer apart 
and make sure they're all connected they're all solid and I have no other issues going around with them but um this does appear to be the stock firmware I hope this helps somebody if you have any questions give me a holler below and I will do my best to answer them and try and tell you all what I did oh and I also want to say thank you to everybody who has clicked on my affiliate links you guys have done good there is something sitting in customs that when I get it in a few days or a week we're all gonna have a lot of fun with and the affiliate links are down there to the best of my knowledge that coupon code is still good the new ender threes come now with a removable print bed and have a bunch of the early issues fixed so if you like my videos if I've helped you please like and subscribe and if you want one of the cool new ender threes that seem to have most of these problems that I have had with this early one fixed please click on the link use the coupon code they're 179.95 now for a short period of time have a great day bye now